Uh, so let me last order of business before we wrap up the episode. That is going to be our player prop. Best bet for the Friday night card. And like I mentioned, we got another one or another winner across the books on our last podcast where we had Steph Curry to go over five and a half assists. And I know you and I were talking about this off uh, line as we were doing our uh, show prep here. And when I saw this number for this player, I, I kind of had to scratch my head. And that's going to be Jason Tatum to go over 25 and a half points here against the New York Knicks on Friday night. And, you know, maybe this number is, um, I guess, at a discounted price or less than what we're used to seeing it for Jason Tatum because maybe Christoph Porzingis, um, he's back in the lineup and he'll contribute as well. But so maybe historically, Jason Tatum has done very well against the New York Knicks uh, in his career. And I'll, I'll kind of go back and, you know, look at, over the past several games and what he's done against the New York Knicks. So in five out of the last six matchups head to head against the New York Knicks, this goes back to the last season. I'll just quickly read off what he's done. So he scored 26, 35, 14 points, but the last three games he's had 40 and then two matchups this season sleepy against the New York Knicks. He's had 34 points and 35 points uh, against this New York Knicks team. And, on the season for Jason Tatum, um, he is averaging 27.6 points per game. Over the last five games, he's averaging 26.8. Last game was against the Indiana Pacers in the quarterfinals for the in-season tournament. He finished that game with 32 here. So to me, I thought this number was a little bit conservative. I think there was off by one or two points here, which I was expecting to see that 27 and a half, possibly 28 and a half for Jason Tatum. But I really like him to go out and, and you know, re- um, you know, rebound from what happened against the Indiana Pacers being at home against the New York Knicks where he's had a lot of success against his team here sleepy. So over 25 and a half for Jason Tatum. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I think that you might look at Porzingis like it's a negative, but I actually look at that as a positive, the fact that he's coming back. And I think that like if you are the boss, right, you get to make all the rules. It's your business. It's You're the boss. Jason mm-hmm. Tatum is the boss of the Boston Celtics. So all the... um you know, I guess let's just say like he gave control to, you know, all the other players on the team and probably to Porzingis. But when somebody kind of leaves or somebody's out or something like that, you take all that control back. And I think that I think Porzingis actually or I actually I think Tatum shot the most shots that he shot all year. I think he had 26 attempts in the last game. Like, do you want to give that back up just because there's a guy coming on the floor? Like, you want to go ahead and you want to have your big nights, you know, and you want to have your biggest uh, you know, biggest scoring nights of the year. So uh, I would be surprised if Tatum didn't go out there and say, you know what, I'm not going to relinquish all control back to where it once was. I'm going to try to take a little bit more here. So that's one of the things that I think with Porzingis is that it actually could be a positive and, and you may not think that, but uh, like you were saying with against the Knicks, like he just dominates the Knicks. So um, it's one of those things where you put a guy in a pocket, you know, he's going to go out there and just do his thing and, and, the players around him know, like, just give it to Tatum. He's gonna he's gonna carve this team up. This is just what he does. He shows up for the next game. So I like it. I think the number's a little bit too light. Uh 26 and a half, 27 and a half, somewhere in that area. But I think Tatum, he goes for 30, 35 plus. Yep. I love it here. So hopefully we we found another winner here for our player prop best bet. Jason Tatum over 25 and a half points uh against the New York Knicks.